Hey everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that I am sorry it has taken me this long to do. So as many of you guys know, uh, a few weeks ago, Barbra Streisand uh, released her newest album, Release Me Too, and I filmed a reaction video to it. Uh, unfortunately at the time, I did not have my Target exclusive edition, you know, available with me to listen to the bonus track. So I said, when I get my vinyl and CD copy, um, I'll do that for you guys. Well, as many of you know, when I filmed that initial video, I wasn't even at home. I was on a little trip in Maryland, and then I came home and I had two days at home, um, and then I left for Cancun. So, basically, my neither my CD nor vinyl I ordered arrived at my home until after I left for Cancun. And then I came back from Cancun and I've been just trying to settle back into things and I'm finally settled and you know what, here we are today to listen to the Target exclusive bonus track of Release Me 2, which is called When the Lovin' is going, or when the, when the, when the, when the Lovin' goes out of lovin'. So guys, first of all, I gotta say the pressing, the Target pressing for this album is gorgeous. So I mean, there's the cover, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, the CD, I love having both. I mean, just look at this. I mean, you open that, gorgeous, simply Streisand, if you ask me. Um, and then here is inside, so the as many of you know, the Target vinyl is the gray vinyl, which I think looks absolutely beautiful. My favorite one that I've seen is the lavender vinyl, but I really only need one. So I'm, I go with the one that has all the, tr the bonus track. Um, and then here's one of the inserts. Um, and I guess the best thing to do is get started with listening to the song. I really want to do this so I can finally play my vinyl copy. Um, and what's nice too is that I have the liner notes so I can read what she has to say. So I do know that this song is from the year, what, the year is escaping me. Um, where does it say? Well, we'll just open it here. We'll read it in here. Um, does she have a note? <gasps> no, she does not. There's no note in here about this song. Well, that's, hang on. Maybe it's in the Target CD. We'll open that one too. Um, because, you know, the thing about this is that, oh, I don't have the thing in here. It's over there. Um, well, I don't know what she has to say about this. So let me, oh my goodness, I wasn't ready. Um, so basically, I know it's from the Emotion album, um, which I just want to make sure I get the year of that right. I know it's 83, 84, I was close. But it's from the Emotion album, which is an album I do own on vinyl. It's in my living room, you know, over there. And I know that I, I'm pretty sure I've listened to the full album. The only song I remember is He's No Mistake, He's Mine. Um, but that's about all I truly remember. I'm very disappointed that in the liner notes, there's nothing about when the lovin' goes out of lovin'. I would have liked to have known a little something about that, Babs. Um, okay, okay, whatever. We don't have anything to say about it, but uh, it was not included on the album, so without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and get started with listening to it. So here we go. <laughs> Okay. It's hard to understand. This is the 
I'm loving the backing vocals. There is an 11 I, I can do. Oh my god, it's so amazing to remember sometimes that this album is the songs that she initially rejected releasing. Um, that was actually a very pretty song. In comparison to the rest of the album, as I was saying, this one definitely sounds the most contemporary. Um, which is funny because technically the most contemporary is I'd Want It To Be You with Willie Nelson because that's 2014, but vocally this sounds a little more, like, as she would say in one of her concerts, more hipper, if you will. Um, I actually really, really enjoyed this. Uh, so it's really funny, you know, and listening to this album multiple times, you know, it's a, such a quick album to go through. Um, my least favorite track on this album is Once You've Been In Love, which is the last track of the album. And, you know, personally, I, I wonder why she decided, you know, hey, I'm gonna do this one as a bonus track, because I personally think that this is better than Once You've Been In Love, that's just me. My favorite track after listening to this album multiple times is probably Easily Sweet Forgiveness, either the album cut or Jay's remix, both gorgeous. Um, the Rainbow Connection, uh, Be Aware. There's so many good things. And you know what I find really interesting is that a lot of people have been complaining. Well, not complaining. They're right. They have the right. Because we always want more. Um, but that there could have been so many more songs in this album. But what I find really interesting about Release Me Too, and it's even the first Release Me, is that if you had told someone that these weren't, like, you know, just a bunch of, like, unreleased cuts from different albums, they all work really well as a one cohesive album. That's why it's so funny for me to remember sometimes that these are all from different places because it just seems something about them all together works and maybe, you know, limiting the track listing does that. Um, but when the Lovin' goes out, a Lovin' has a really pretty place and uh, I think it could have easily fit on... I would have rather had this than Once You've Been In Love, personally. Um, but I'm curious, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm so glad I finally listened to this so now I can finally listen to my vinyl copy. Uh, I can't wait. Um, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below. As always, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvador J. Rocha, Twitter at Sal Stuff, and TikTok at Sal Rocha one and I'll see you guys um, later. Have a great day. Bye.